we are back what's up everyone anthony online here back with another game review and this time we're reviewing sly cooper and the devious raccoonist which was recently released on the ps4 and ps5 via sony's classic emulation and this is a really big deal now i never played sly cooper back in the day and this is my first time stepping into the world of sly cooper and so far i am quite intrigued if you also never played this game and have no idea what this game is all about let me enlighten you. You play as Sly, a raccoon who comes from a family of thieves and as a child his family's secret thieving book was stolen and his family was also murdered I believe and the book was then separated into multiple parts by a team of criminals who each have their own section of the book that they now are in possession of and Sly dedicates his life to thieving like his ancestors so he can eventually steal back all the pages to the book, the pages to his family's secrets and one day become the world's best thief. Now this is basically an action platformer with some minor stealth elements and the level design was quite impressive to me. I actually enjoyed the layout of the levels. There is variety in various locations, obstacles, and each level will have its own set of collectibles in which you will then be able to unlock new abilities for Sly to learn. Now the game does have a one hit die, one hit kill format with the exception of boss battles requiring multiple hits to be defeated. And there are quite a few different enemy types throughout the game. I was quite impressed with how many different enemy types and the variety of enemy types are in this game. And don't worry, the game is not that challenging, although sometimes you may come across one of those sections where... Uh, it becomes a tiny bit frustrating and you just keep dying from that one, you know, section. But thankfully, because this is through the PlayStation Classic emulation system, you do have the option to rewind at any point in the game. So you don't have to worry about wasting your lives or going back to a checkpoint. You can just rewind and try that section again. Now, visually, as this is not a remake or a remaster, you can imagine the game does look a bit dated as it should for a PS2 game. And I would be mad as I feel that games like this, these classic games, they should get a remake or a remaster like Crash and Spyro got. But I'm not mad because the game is only $10 and it's also included in the PlayStation Premium subscription if you have that. But if not, you can pay $10 and you will own the game digitally. Uh, I haven't noticed any issues with the visuals or the performance. I know some reviewers have talked about it. They have complained about it. Um, I haven't experienced anything so far in that aspect, but as a game that is dated as it is, the camera controls really suck. It was by far the worst thing I experienced was the camera controls. Movement controls are pretty decent for the most part, but your biggest issue will be the camera, which could be the cause of your next death because, like I said, it's dated camera controls and it's it could use some work. Now, just like some other games from this specific era, there are going to be some weird jokes or some crude humor, one of which was a newspaper article about how the uh, the cop who was a fox is very attractive and whatever, um, but nothing as crude humor as like the Jack series. Uh, sound design is really good in this game with the music and the character voices. Even when you use some of the stealth abilities, you'll have some really cool cartoon-like sound effect when sneaking around. And that was a pretty cool detail, especially for a game they released back in the day when it released. Now, this is a very big deal because we are seeing more and more classic games returning to the current gen consoles. I know some people do love their classic games and most of the classics are on the Xbox with their backwards compatibility. And Sony is doing a different method with the classic emulation as well as the uh, ability to purchase some of them um as an option but unfortunately not every classic game is available to purchase where you have to do it through the emulation from the premium subscription and in some cases there was the cloud gaming option as well but we do have classic games from the ps1 all the way up to the ps3 including the psp and what I feel about this game is that while I would have preferred a remaster or a remake just for the better visuals and better controls I think that this is definitely a big deal that will open the door for even more classics and even more of these games like the Ratchet and Clank series, some more God of War games, like the older God of War games to release. And and in all honesty, for this pretty fun adventure that will take you roughly seven to eight hours to finish, and for that nostalgia trip, I think $10 for Sly Cooper and the Devious Raccoonist is well worth your money and it is well worth your time to play this, give it a try, whether you are a returning fan who wants to go back to that nostalgia or you're someone brand new to the franchise like I am. 
and I just think that this is a great opportunity to try something classic and hopefully open the door even more so for the other classics as I mentioned before. But that is my review for Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this whole thing. Do you like this franchise? Are you new to the franchise? Do you hate the fact that Sony is doing the releases this way? Do you like the way they're doing it? Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.